I think traditionally there was this idea that to be a academic within medicine you have to have done the academic foundation program, you have to have done the academic core medical or core surgical training and then you then go on to do a further degree while you're training. I think what I've learned as I've gone through is that that's really not the case anymore. Not having had a research background certainly does not feel like a barrier to then going on to do further research which I think is a really positive thing. Hi there, so my name's Keir Pickard and so I'm a haematology registrar here in the North East. Outside of clinical work, I've got a couple of extra roles. Um, so first of all, I'm the specialty trainee lead for haematology at the NIHR. And then I'm also the local representative for Hemestar. So I haven't done any sort of formal academic stuff up to now. And so going into my registrar training, it's not really something I thought about. But as I did a bit more haematology, I got very interested in the clinical research side of things. And obviously, you know, we're a really active region in terms of clinical research. There's a lot going on. And I think if you're interested and you're showing interest in it, then, you know, it works the other way and people develop a bit of an interest in you. And so I think, you know, I've really developed an interest in clinical medicine and I think it's something we all do in haematology all the time. You know, whether you're working at a central teaching hospital or a district general hospital, they're all very research active places. And so, you know, even without any sort of formal training in academia, you can then actually still develop a bit of an interest even this late on. You know, certainly the evidence is that more research active trusts generally have better patient care and I think that's why as trainees I think the earlier you engage in it the better. Clinical haematology registrars is extremely difficult to get research projects off the ground. Often you're rotating relatively frequently and it can be quite difficult to get a long term project without taking time out of programme. And so what Heemstar's done really well is focus on things like local audits and so if you've done a local audit say in Newcastle and you think it's shown some interesting findings but obviously because non-malignant haematology tends to be quite rare disorders the power of your data might not be very good so you can then use Hemestar as a network and essentially ask all the other haematology registrars in the country to collect data in response to your audit and so you turn a local audit with not much patience not much power and then suddenly it becomes a nationwide audit and hence a lot more data and hopefully a lot more power to demonstrate your findings i think it's a really really supportive department the training program director is really really keen that if people want to take time out of program you know for research or to do extra clinical training then they're really really keen to support that and I think certainly the feedback from the training program director has been that Health Education Northeast are also extremely supportive and I think it's very rare um, for a good application to be rejected and I think so in that sense I think it's really you know a bit inspiring as a trainee because rather than just focusing on getting your five years training done and becoming a consultant I think it encourages you to take a bit of a step back and say what am I interested in what could I add to my training and then certainly I think in a way, you know, I feel a little bit of pressure because, for example, with some of the Heemstar projects, often or the NIHR projects, you know, it's quite clear as a region how you're recruiting and how you're performing against the other regions. And so, you know, I think that's probably true when you go into being a consultant as well. You need to demonstrate that your unit is an active recruiter and actively involved in clinical research. And I think I get a bit of a sense of that responsibility. You know, it certainly doesn't feel like there's a big hierarchy in the organisation. I think it's all very collaborative. I think the North East, and I think, you know, it's easy to be biased, isn't it? But I do, I do think it feels like a very special environment. I think all of the hospital trusts that I've worked in, like I say, are all full. It feels like they're full of consultants and trainees who are really engaged and really motivated to improve the care of patients. You know, everyone I've spoke to who's wanted to do something a bit different has been absolutely supportive to do that, both through the training program and also through Heaney. There is a feeling that you are an individual rather than just a training number, and I think that's what makes the Northeast really, really good.